Hello folks, my name is Mark, this is Why I Hate the World, how you guys doing? So, uh, this is another edition of Things I Don't Care About, because there's lots of things out there that have happened re recently that I just don't care about. So, let's get right to it. Uh, number one is um, Deflate Gate. Uh, for those of you in other countries who actually have real things happening in your lives that don't pay attention to the stupid ass American news, what happened is Deflate Gate is a uh, controversy, in quotes, about um, an American football team called the Patriots who cheated by deflating their footballs by two pounds per square inch. And supposedly that made it easy for them to throw the football. Uh, so for you guys in Europe and South America who are watching this, if any, American football, obviously, as you know, is different than, than what you guys call football. What, what you call football, we call soccer. Um, uh, so anyway, but football here is more like rugby and, uh, you know, but with like body armor and shit on. And for some reason, this is like a big fucking deal. I don't know why. It's like these guys cheated, and then it's all over the goddamn news, you know, 24 7. And it's just, who fucking cares? I, why does anybody care? I don't care. I don't know. I guess football is a big deal in the States, you know, and plus we got the Super Bowl coming. So it's a big fucking deal, and everybody's losing their fucking mind. You know, these guys should be fired and all this other shit. And it's like, if I gave a shit about this, I would, I don't know. Just does not affect me in the slightest. If there's one thing in the world that I just do not care about, it's fucking football. You know? Anyway, so that's dumb. It's just another story that, um, you know, people are using to distract from all the really bad shit that's happening in the world right now. Uh, Deflategate is fucking stupid. Next, um, <clears throat> Mitt Romney is running for president again. <laughs> Right, and uh, he's trying to reinvent himself into caring for the little guy. That's his new image. His new image is that he's trying to like speak for the poor people out there. <clears throat> Good fucking luck with that. Um, I don't know if you guys don't remember the last election that we had, <laughs> right, where Mitt Romney got caught, you know, basically with his 47% line, and and basically Mitt Romney came off as the boss that everybody has, that everyone hates, who goes around and lays people off and shit to like personally like enrich himself. Essentially, that's what Mitt Romney does for a living. Is that he's a venture capitalist, and what they do is they go and they um, buy out a company that's in trouble, and then they take that company's name and take out a lot of loans in that company's name so that they get their money back but then the company is stuck with all these loans and shit and nine times out of ten whatever company they came in to save actually ends up folding up shop everybody gets laid off all their assets get liquidated right so basically they're they're vulture capitalists is what they are you know Mitt Romney's a piece of shit so good luck with that but anyway <clears throat> I'm actually kinda glad that he's running cuz he's gonna be button heads with Jeb Bush Right, and I would rather have, believe it or not, I'd rather have Mitt Romney than Jeb Bush. So, I don't know, but you know that I guess those are gonna, those are the two big fish right now, and they're going to be like trying to like knock each other out. So, my my one good takeaway from this is that maybe Mitt Romney will cause Jeb Bush to say something really dumb that gets Jeb Bush to like you know lose popularity and decide not to run. That's what I hope. I hope Mitt Romney knocks out Jeb Bush because we've already proven that Mitt Romney can't win the fucking election. So. Uh, so that's dumb. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, speaking of politics, recently John uh, Boner, the uh, Speaker of the House, invited um, the Prime Minister of Israel to come speak before Congress, and they didn't clear it with Barack Obama. And that was a big, you know, snafu or whatever. That was a big, um, you know, big snub in Obama's direction, and it's like, you know, I, I, the thing is, it's did he do anything legal? No, it, it's a dick move, is what it is, right? Uh, basically, basically, it was just showing Obama that we don't give a shit, you know, and that nothing's gonna change this year either. We're still not gonna work with you, even though we like fucking won the House and the and the Senate. We're still not gonna fucking try to work with you. So. You know, it just basically just shows to me that, you know, John Boner's a fucking asshole. And, you know, and it's it's par for the course for these fucking dickheads, so whatever. Uh, 
Fuck John Boner. Uh, what else? Um, a five-year-old shot his brother in the head, his nine-month-old brother in the head, with a gun taken from their grandfather. So I guess this happened a few weeks, uh, about last week. Um, five-year-old kid was playing with his friend, and his friend had a paintball gun, and he had a real gun that he thought was a toy, and they were playing around, you know, how kids play guns, you know, pew, pew, or whatever. And then he pointed it and accidentally shot his nine-month-old baby brother in the face with it and killed him. It's a tragedy. Uh, same thing that usually happens after something like this. Uh, you know, you, you get a lot of NRA types who come out and say it's, you know, it's not the fault of the gun, it's because of irresponsible gun owners. You know, and it's it's just a screw up all around it's like well why did this guy have a gun out where a kid could get it number one see i'm not the thing is that me personally i'm not against people having guns you know i grew up around guns it's not a problem but my dad um you know was actually a cop at the time um he always instilled in us you know discipline as far as guns were concerned you know we weren't allowed to touch them we couldn't play with them you know all that shit and we were tell we were taught to to fear you know firearms right so that was the first thing. Second thing is that he never left it laying out so that we could get a hold of it in the first place. Okay, that was, it was always put away somewhere, you know, in a drawer. Um, later on, actually, they, we had a home invasion robbery when I was a teenager, and he got all these, like, combat shotguns and shit like that. He kept all that stuff in a cabinet, you know, in a gun cabinet, right, that he had a key that he could open up really fast in order to, like, go and, and you know, in case he needed them. But it's not like, the, the shit was just not laying around, so it's like... You know, on one hand, yeah, the the gun, the program people have a point saying, well, this this guy was irresponsible, right? I totally agree with that. But on the second hand, you know, if he didn't have the gun in the first place, this shit wouldn't have happened, all right? I mean, you know, and it just kind of goes to show, it's like, yeah, maybe there is a point, you know, maybe the, they, they do have a point, you know, irresponsible people shouldn't have guns. How about that? I can, I see a nice, healthy middle, middle ground here. Maybe people should have to take a test in order to own a gun, right? Um... Or something. I mean, but it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just really like, like every time I hear about somebody getting an, an accidental shooting or something like that, it's someone who died who didn't have to die, all right? It's not like this person died from an act, like a car accident or like drowned or had a disease. Basically, there was a weapon that's laying around that was designed to kill somebody and he was killed by a fucking weapon. It's, it's, I don't know, it's really like just sad and I don't really see, you know, any change is just gonna ha it's just one of you know this is just one of those things that just happens in america now you know children get shot right it's it's a problem that happens in america that you don't see in other countries because in other countries they have sane gun laws so that's a joke uh one last thing uh men spreading so uh i guess that's a thing now um man spreading i guess is about it's a it's something that feminists are complaining about when men sit they sit with their legs apart you know like they're all relaxed like sitting with their body open and apparently a lot of reactionary right you know uh reactionary um radical feminists are taking this to mean that like the guy is subconsciously like exposing his genitals to the world or some shit like that and it's like get the fuck out of here like i don't understand people like why first off why the fuck is anybody even complaining about is it really that big of a deal the way that a man sits get the, no it's not a big deal it's bullshit is what it is it's basically stupid ass feminist bullshit you know because they want to they, they need shit to complain about is what it is right there's you know it's dumb it's just dumb right there's even if you know and you know why it's done because if every man tomorrow morning um if it was like if every man woke up and they all sat with their legs crossed tomorrow it would do nothing to like um change the plight of women around the world okay you know the way a man sits has nothing to do with uh the pay pay disparity you know the the wage gap has nothing to do with the glass ceiling as far as like you know women in corporations and shit like that they can't get past a certain point you know it has nothing to do with the fact that like um you know domestic domestic violence uh or anything like that or um 
you know, it has it. You know, it, it would not solve any of the shit, and it's because it's a made-up bullshit issue that has nothing to do with anything. So, mansplaining is fucking dumb. Anybody out there who's complaining about mansplaining is fucking stupid. Fuck them. All right. Um, and that's you know, and the thing is, I'm a feminist. All right. I believe in feminism. All right. Well, I don't know if I'm exactly a feminist, really, but I believe in the goals of feminism, at least second-wave feminism. You know, I believe women should be you know treated equally under the law and should have the same pay and all that other bullshit out there, right, you know, and it's just, shit like this just fucking tarnishes the whole image, the feminist image, and it makes women want to not, you know, it makes women not examine the other feminist issues that they should be interested in, in my opinion, so, man spreading is bullshit. Uh, what else, what else, what else, um, the king of Saudi Arabia died, good, good riddance, uh, Saudi Arabia is a fucked up country. Um, and I know I'm going to offend some people out there who live in Saudi Arabia. I don't care. Saudi Arabia is fucked up. Um, women are not allowed to drive there. Thieves, if someone gets caught, you know, stealing something, his fucking hands get chopped off, right? They behead people for witchcraft, right? Um, people go to prison there for not, you know, for being apostates to Islam and shit. Like, there was recently a guy that I, I read about who, um posted on a blog how he was having second thoughts about, you know, his religion, and they threw his ass in jail, right, uh, like, gay people and homosexuals and things are, like, persecuted there, right, uh, fucking, you're not allowed to go to Mecca if you're not Muslim, I mean, it's, it's a bull, it's, it's a, it has an abysmal human rights record, right, and the only reason that, you know, we pay lip service to them in the West is because we get all their fucking oil from them, and we have military bases there, so, fuck Saudi Arabia, Right. I'm sure the people that live there are very nice, okay? I've actually met a few people that, that come from Saudi Arabia, and they're like the nicest people ever. And, you know, but there's a difference between the people that live in a country and the government of the country. I'm saying fuck the government of Saudi Arabia, because they're just, you know, fucking backwards. All right. Um, what else? Uh, a cop. Uh, so, okay, recently a cop stole naked pictures off of a female DUI suspect's phone, and he's now getting no jail time for that. He's not getting arrested. He's not getting fired or anything. That's fucked up. Um, you know, I guess, I, I don't know the particulars of the case. I guess what he did was not illegal. You know, he should at least be suspended or something. I mean, but he basically went, you know, there was a guy, he pulls over this, this woman, and he mailed the pictures like he had she had these topless pictures of herself and he mailed them to his own phone and it's it's fucking you know it's despicable is what that is right if that's not illegal because i guess it's i guess it wasn't because he hid it under some like bullshit pretense that it was like an investigation or something but if that's not illegal then that guy should at least be fired or suspended or be forced to take some kind of fucking gender sensitivity class or something right because it's you know it's despicable okay and people see shit like that in the news and then they don't trust police officers they go well, why should i trust them if they're gonna pull shit like this and it's just really fucked up i mean you know i mean the, the recently like the police over the last couple months have been getting a lot of fucking heat for various things you know namely shooting black people and stuff well maybe if like we had cops that actually had some fucking integrity we wouldn't have this problem you know Seriously, man, can, is there some kind of test that we can do to make sure that people we hire to be police officers are not dirtbags before we hire them? You know, come on, man, get on that. Uh, one last thing. Okay, this is the last thing for real, the last thing. <clears throat> Need some water. Sorry. People complain when I drink water in my videos, but I don't care. Fuck them. One last thing. Uh, in Disneyland recently... <clears throat> Uh, Disneyland has been the center of a measles outbreak recently, um, over the last couple of weeks. They've traced over, a, you know, dozen some odd cases of measles to fucking Disneyland. And it's because people who don't vaccinate their kids, their kids get measles, they fucking go outside, and then everybody fucking gets it. And it's just, it's because, it's a, because of fucking anti-vaccination conspiracy theories is what it is. And it's just fucked up all around, you know, um, but what are you going to do? I mean, the thing is, is that there are laws in the States for people to opt out of getting vaccinations because they're fucking, for whatever reason, you know, they're, they're religious reasons or whatever. And I think that this is just a, this is a, a tangible, um, result 
of what believing in stupid, unprovable bullshit and conspiracy theories can do. Okay, this is like, this is what happens when people are not educated, when people believe in, in shit that cannot be proven, when um, people go on websites like naturalnews.com or something, and they see this, this dumbass bullshit saying that your kid's going to get autism if you get them vaccinated so that they don't do it, and there's just lots of, you know, and then it, it's just fucked up, right, and it used to be the law, especially in like California, it used to be the law that your kid had to be vaccinated in order to go to school. And I think that's what should happen. I think that if, if these people don't want to vaccinate their children, then they shouldn't be allowed in public school, you know, regardless of your religious fucking um, beliefs. But, you know, that's never going to fucking happen, right? So it's just fucking dumb. And I encourage everybody out there who, if you have a family member that believes in this stupid shit, don't give up on them, you know, don't let them, don't let them get away with it, just fucking pound it into their heads repeatedly over and over, get your kid vaccinated, get your kid vaccinated, you know, you're fucking dumb for getting it vaccinated, because they're not, they're not going to listen to the news, they're not going to listen to what they see on the news, they're not going to listen to science, they're not going to listen to people that, you know, doctors, right, they're only going to listen to people they trust, being their family, or else if it's on a fucking alternate news website, that's it, so or else shit like this happens, and then you go out, and, like, the herd, the herd resistance goes down, and then, you know, going to fucking Disneyland and getting on It's a Small World becomes a thing where you're, like, taking your fucking life in your hands, and that's bullshit, so, adios, folks.